Anyways, I'm back. Let's go ahead and run the studio secretary murder. I honestly forgot how long this this game is. Oh boy. Of course we will look into it. Yes, we can basically see the guy's face. Does that mean all we need to do is identify him? Now is not the time to lose your nerve. It would appear that someone has hocked a rose gold wedding ring, a matching engagement ring. Sound familiar? Deirdre Muller. Press the pawnbroker and see what you can find out. The address is 348 South Main Street. The Muller case goes before the grand jury next week, and the DA does not want any egg on his face. Then get out to the railroad depot on Santa Fe Avenue. We have another poor unfortunate found this morning beside a railroad line. 40-year-old white woman. Right, Skipper. I say we bust in there and find the All right, Skipper. <laughs> this guy's always wanting to bust Another into body. some place and Engage grab the all the frame. evidence. He says that every time Skipper we're at the station. Mason have to come to terms with the fact that he's wearing no clothes. I went this way. You get that book of riddles shoved up your ass. Is that what your old man paid college tuition for? Uh, huh. Let's see where he wants to go first. I mean, you know you made it. You got that there. Hey, man, where'd you go? Where do you want to go first? So what next? We need to follow up this lead from the pawnbroker, Phelps. Okay, okay. Jeez. You're behind the wheel. And where exactly are we going? Pawnbroker it is. got to admit, this is looking odd. Anyone could pawn a ring. But if you take it along with all of the other indicators... Cole, I think Hugo Muller was identified by the school's ground... This is the last one. He's our guy. Witnesses yeah, it is. have fingered the wrong guy before. He ran, for God's sakes. And he always maintained he was set Last up. one for homicide. After this one, uh, it will be... To good old, uh... Vice. There's no way we're finishing this game today. Possibly Monday. If I do that, um, we could do it Monday and then start Splinter Cell on Tuesday or so. But I'm still debating on doing. Uh, Detectives Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. Still debating. Rose gold wedding and engagement ring. David Bremner. I'm gonna get something for this pledge. Gave that bum money. Now you guys are gonna leave me short. How much wow. did you give him? 50 bucks? Try another number. 20? Try 10. Feel lucky you're getting it. I have the rings right here. What's this mark here? Maker's mark. Usually traceable. That one came from Hartfield's Jewelry down on Broadway. Thanks for the tip. Cool. And what about this one? Does this mark mean anything? Hmm. All mark. Gives you an idea of the quality. What have you got on the guy who brought these in? Goes by the name of Percy B. Shelley. Gave an address. 15 Poland Street, London, Tulare County. Can you give us a description of the man who pawned these rings? Not sure. Medium height, medium build, dark hair, I think. Sorry. He just had one of those forgettable faces. We'll be in touch, Mr. Bremner. I see, I see. Okay. Well, let's see what we got here. What do you think? All right, we're rolling. Out to the rail depot. Will do. You know the way. You can drive. Fine. Where are we headed? If you know the way, you can drive where are we headed. Lights. 
I wish he would just get in we the car each time. We could have the local troopers check out the Tulare County address. The address is bogus. The purpose is having fun with us. The guy who's been sending the Dahlia letters is also the guy who pawned these rings. How do you figure that one? Percy Bysshe Shelley wrote the poem that came with the Dahlia letter. The Dahlia letters are genuine. The man who killed Elizabeth Short may have also killed Deirdre Muller. And how do we prove that, Belt? Skipper ain't gonna like this one bit. We're gonna have to rely on this guy tripping up on his own vanity. Hmm. You boys ready? Follow me. We should keep this development with the rings under our hat until we speak with the We're all on the same team, Rusty. Chain of command, Phelps. The skipper will decide who needs to know. Got it? I get it, Rusty. I just don't like it. Rail yard at 11.01 a.m. Hard, isn't it? Yeah. I look after all the rail depots. What have you got? The Negro, Nelson Gaines, called it in. I came down here to make sure him and the other guy, Jameson, stuck around. Jameson found the body? Something like that. Guy makes me sick. We'll talk to the coroner. Keep an eye on both of them. All right. What you got, coroner? Wouldn't part of there if I were you. What are you thinking, Ray? The city keeps tossing oh, us dead the... bodies. We're just running to catch up. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Hey, man. What, have what we you got, got here? White female, approximately 40 years of age, lipstick smudges on the face, but no writing, at least nothing legible. A blunt force trauma to the temple, nose, and eye regions. Ligature marks point to the probable cause of death being strangulation. Okay. Any idea of the time of death? From her temperature, after midnight would be my guess. All right, let's check out the body. Ed. Smell? Very good. There is the usual evacuation smell, but it appears she's been living rough for quite some time. Very strong smell of alcohol. Well, the autopsy will tell, but I would assume that she was inebriated. Another missing ring. Certainly seems I've been swabbing a lot of bare fingers recently. Hmm. Can you be more exact about the time of death? No later than 2 a.m. The state the body was in, a one or two hour window is the best I can do. Okay. splatter on the carriage she must have been struck while standing up did the train stop Let's see what we got handbag the letter it's an address someone was trying to get her to come home And a we could go over film to the lot and see what they know about her company. That's going to be difficult, Cole. Keystone Studio lot closed back in '41. Hmm. And looks like we got some matches from a bar. It's probably where she went and got her drinks. Ah, slow down, slow down. I'm trying to read it. There we go. Maybe someone at Mensch's will remember her. We found out about so many bars. <laughs> this is a chit for personal items, not booze. It's not even worth investigating. Okay. 
We found out so many of ours while just doing these uh, uh, cases and finding all the matches. We can talk about it later, Phelps. Where'd, uh, there where'd Rusty you? go? Right, there's Rusty. Detective Phelps and Galloway, homicide. Can you tell me exactly what happened? We were shunting cars over to the main line when I saw this man here lying on top of this woman. The woman wasn't moving and seemed to be in a bad way. What time was this? About 7.30 this morning, sir. Thanks for your help. Have you given Patrolman Hart your details? I have, sir. Thank you. You can go now. Oh, cool. So this guy. Detective Phelps, LAPD homicide. John Ferdinand Jameson. We need you to answer some questions, John. If you don't mind, I prefer Ferdinand. Don't push your luck, knucklehead. What were you doing to the body, Ferdinand? Are you sure you won't be upset? Try me, Ferdinand. I was kissing her. <laughs> it's not against the law. Shut up. There's no Take law your against it. Like a man. Turn out your pockets, Ferdinand. Some lipstick. Is this Same. yours, Ferdinand? No. I found it near her purse. I thought she could use some lipstick. Rusty, stop. Don't hit him. Damn. Interference with evidence. Her purse? It wasn't like she needed it. I took a look. Did you take any money? It wasn't any to take. I found her lipstick and her matchbook over on the mat. Not much else. Discovery of victim's found body. body? Yes, I did. I work here. I was coming off shift and headed home. The other guy said that he found them though. Why didn't you report the body, Jameson? Do you know how this is gonna look to a jury? A jury? What gives? I, I could tell that she was dead. I came through here about midnight last night. She wasn't here then. Let me belt him again. <laughs> You're under arrest, Jameson. We'll see how this plays out. Until then, you can think a little on how you'd like to be treated if you were found dead. I'm yeah, telling you, it's safe. not illegal. Me and some friends of mine. Clyde, can you get this sack of shit into a cell. I'll deal with him later. Sure. Mori keeps see. talking, and he's just gonna keep getting knocked down. Alright, what do you want to do? What now? I say we check out Mensch's place. By the smell, this broad spent a good chunk of time hopping bars. Alright, we'll do that in a second. Let me call whatever he wants to call in. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How can I help, Detective? I need an address on Levine's Liquor, closest store to the Santa Fe Avenue rail yard, if possible. Just a moment, Detective. Closest door would be the one at 939 South Hope Street. Thanks. Cool. All right, so he said he wants to check out Mench's bar first. You can drive. And where so let's exactly are we going? Check out that. Oh wait, actually, are we taking his car? Yeah, we are. Okay. You're behind the wheel. Fine. Where are we headed? Mench's bar. You read get that those there. goddamn Chinese want to sell the relief food that we're sending them? Huh. Yeah. Yeah, I read about that. Those people are starving. They can't do that. They want to sell the food to fund the civil war against the communists. Really? I guess that's okay, then. <laughs> Armies can't fight without okay, food. You spend all your money on weapons, but you still have to have the will to fight. Fortunately, the Reds will win in China. Watch your mouth. You know what you're saying? The people of this country open to a king. Do you think the Chinese will balk at an emperor if they are starving? <laughs> There's so many like hidden things that I either just like kind of just went straight over my head. I. Uh, Back when I originally played it, or just like completely forgot about it. We need to ask you some questions concerning Evelyn Summers. I'm Walter Mensch. Evelyn Summers? What is it now? You knew Evelyn? As well as I wanted to know Evelyn. 
She's a pain in the ass, always coming in here, cadging drinks, never had any money. She was in just a couple of nights ago. Did she ever tell you where she was staying? I don't know. I think she was living rough. She had that kind of stunk about her. Who did she drink with? Uh, a bunch of these guys. Ask around. I want to emphasize at the outset of these hearings that the fact that the Committee on Un-American Activities is investigating All right. alleged communist influence and infiltration... What's your name? Grosvenor McCaffrey. Mind if I ask you some questions, Mr. McCaffrey? I'm just a starving writer. It's too detective. so loud. What do you want to ask about? Evelyn Summers and why she was found beaten and Evelyn strangled Summers? in the rail depot on Santa Fe. <laughs> okay. I see your point. How well did you know her? I can't say that I knew her. It was more like I was aware of her. Last contact with victim. Did you see Evelyn last night? No. I uh, was at home. Writing. Doubt. Do you want to get dragged into this, McCaffrey? Do you want us to get interested in you? She hung out with this powder puff, James Tiernan. They haunted the public library together. How well do you know James Tiernan? I know he works some kind of plebeian job at Rawlings Bowling Alley. Rawlings? I know that place. Corner of Ninth and Graham. A lot of cops bowl there on Tuesday nights. <laughs> Fun fact, I used to go bowling every Sunday night at like 11 o'clock until like 2 a.m. or so because it was like half, it was like six dollars or something Mr. like that. Nothing it was serious. really cheap. I've had a few skirmishes. Uh, why? book what was it my book Do we have the book wait is this even him mr robbins oh victim mccaffrey relationship with victim lie doubt what was the question that we asked him i totally forget now Wait. Oh, criminal history. Do you have a criminal record, Mr. McCaffrey? Nothing serious. Uh, I've had a few skirmishes. You want to save me some time, or do you want me to look up your file? Industrial disputes. Strikes. Industrial disputes. Workers' rights. That kind of thing. A regular fifth columnist. Nice to meet you, comrade. Thank you for the information, Mr. McCaffrey. Cool. Advice? I say we try the liquor store next. I could get a short dog for the car. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Liquor store? Where exactly are we going? Oh, wait. Actually, hold up. Chatting with anybody else? You a friend of Evelyn Summers? Who's asking? Very cute. You know who's asking. I know my rights. You don't have any. Answer the question. <laughs> Evelyn mooches for drinks. I don't have any time for that. Was that so hard? Keep writing me, copper. Copper. Can you drive to this one? Fine. Take us to the liquor store. Wait, why is this bar keeps showing up still though? I'm afraid that we have something else to do. <laughs> is there anything else you can tell me, man? Can I go upstairs? Yeah, I'm not allowed to. All right, all right. We'll take Rusty's car then. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Liquor store. And where exactly are we going? Destination. What did you make of McCaffrey? There'll come a day, and it's coming very soon. 
will run him and the rest of his pinko buddies out of Los Angeles. Amanda's a suspect. All right. Let's see how this uh, this liquor store hands out. Veen's liquor store, eleven thirty-five a.m. for you LAPD Phelps and Galloway we're making inquiries into the murder of Evelyn Summers Evelyn she's dead you knew Evelyn Summers mr. Robbins yes I knew Evelyn I was a good friend of her ex-husband she kept some of her stuff here can you show us please sure come this way some of their their people are a lot like the character models are a lot better than the others like Cole and Rusty are pretty good for the most part but like other ones you can really tell that it's literally just like a base npc and then they just put their face on it and maybe like tried to do some dimensions for it it's so weird at times especially when their mouth's moving because like you can see inside uh but i probably shouldn't have let her they're alcoholic in a liquor store like was never gonna work out whatever's behind their face like their actual face Okay. She wasn't always such a loner. Did I just get a... I just got like a notification as if I just went live. Evelyn was reading Aristotle. Evelyn wasn't stupid. The only stupid thing about her was her need to drink. Investigate further. And she was borrowing books from Grosvenor McCaffrey. Ah, look at that. You read this? It's interesting. Oh, that's it? Literally? <laughs> okay. Alright, so I'm gonna ask uh, Mr. Robbins some questions. So contact with victim. We're trying to account for everyone's movements yesterday. She came by in the morning. A yeah. social visit? To pick up some of her things she had a couple of bucks and bought a quart of rye any idea where the money came from she didn't mention it but she did say the booze was a present for a boy she said they had been fighting and she had to make it up to him were you and evelyn close mr robbins how many people will be sad she's gone i'll be one of the few I got the impression that Evelyn had been sleeping rough of late. It became difficult for me to have her stay here. Her mother was trying to get her back on the straight and narrow. She's old now. And to be honest, you have to have a good reason to want to get back on. Knowledge of you know McCaffrey. A friend of Evelyn's by the name of McCaffrey? Not personally. Uh, was that a da uh, doubt? We're struggling for leads, Robbins. Did she know McCaffrey? She idolized him. I don't like how much what that I the <laughs> was helps, far from like, yells. He seems to peddle a revolutionary stance, fixing the ills. That's the society. only thing that, like, feels off or really you off about this game. To down and outs like Evelyn. Thanks for your help, Mr. Robbins. No nice. Problem. Hey, I'd like to make arrangements for the funeral. You think the outside or outside? mother? Put in a call to the watch commander at Central Station, Mr. Robbins. He'll be trying to reach the next of kin. Thanks. Get the guy, huh? Evelyn never hurt anybody. Do our best. All right. What now? Let's see what to do. Next stop has got to be the bowling alley. All right, all right. The bowling alley You're it is. You're behind the wheel. Fine. Where are we headed? Where do you want to go? The next stop has got to be the bowling alley. Okay, let's go there. Where do you want to go? Car 11K, Car 11 King, KTBL. 
That's us. Eleven King. A message from Captain Donnelly. Return to Central. Go to. Eleven King. In route. Let's not keep the man waiting. No. I mean, you're the one driving. Does he automatically drive there? I wonder. Or is he gonna go to the bowling alley first? Okay, yeah, he automatically automatically goes there. 11:46 a.m. Central Police Station. Need a drink. What's he got? I got the jitters again. The captain is downstairs with Ray Pinker and Carruthers. No. All right. Goddamn. His mother would be proud of him. Catching all those criminals. I've been in this job 20 years. Hey, what you got, boys? What's this about, Captain? Ray and Mal have some concerns over the Henry and Muller cases, which I don't want aired outside of this room. The evidence is solid, Captain. I agree, Rusty. It's just that corpses keep piling up. Copycats. I've been banging the same drum. But the notes and the lipstick messages. Evelyn Summers, cartel classic Carmine. Each woman, same brand, same color. Teresa Terrelson didn't have a lipstick message. Technically, you're right, Rusty. She didn't have any lipstick, but she did have a message. We found it beneath her dress, scraped with a sharp stick. What did it say? Hmm. Sure you want to know, Ray? As far as we can be sure, it said cunt BD. That's one way of looking at it. Looking at what? Cunt is all about access, Phelps. You're married, so yours is mortgaged. Some of us like to pay by installments. But this guy doesn't like to pay at all. Why are you so angry, Mal? Because I just had to fire one of my assistants. He was a friend of Jameson's. God knows what he might have been up to. Captain, we have good leads in the Summers case, but it's up to you to decide how we proceed. Keep this under your hat for now. And to follow up on Evelyn Summers, I want daily reports. All right, not bad. We got our orders. Back to the Summers case. Get an address for McCaffrey. He'll have blown the bar. I'll meet you outside. I'm thinking of moving up to a 45. I want to stop him with one round. Uh. in there and find the goddamn evidence. Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Phelps badge 1247. I mean, aren't we right here? So couldn't we just go up to them and ask them? I need an address for a Grosvenor McCaffrey. Grosvenor McCaffrey. Apartment 6, 126 Yale Street, between Ord and Alpine. Thank you. All right. You know the way. You can drive. And where exactly are we going? Uh, he said the bowling alley, but here, let me. I'm stumped. Ideas? Call me a red basher, but I think we should look in on that fellow traveler from the bar. That you can drive. Guy. Well, the last thing he said was the bowling alley, so I kind of want to go there first. Let me pose a question. Pens. What you got to do with? Morals. Would it bother you to put the wrong person away? Depends. On what? On whether anyone except the poor son of a bitch in the Slam River found out. It sounds like Rusty does not care. He's all about closing cases. Like, as long as somebody is blamed, that's all that matters. 4.30 p.m. Rusty, two on your usual lane? <laughs> I'm Detective Phelps. Homicide. You must be new. <laughs> What's your shoe size? Ah, uh, this is business. This is so funny. This means they, they had to get some some like sure older lady like with all the He's stuff on her setter. face just to track it. Clears all the, the movement. Dams, works the gutters. <laughs> Go right in. He'll be hopping around the lanes toward the back. He's a nice boy. Thanks, ma'am. Let's go get him. 
I'm at a loss. Well, the kid is in back somewhere. Let's pick him up. What's the special with him? Where's that goddamn waitress? Boy, that steak had seen better days. <laughs> Would you recommend the special? That's one heck of a Sunday. Wait, which one is he? I love these waitresses. Everyone's a dog. Goddamn Harry thinks he can get fresh whenever he pleases. Who are we going to talk to again? Any ideas? Gentlemen? Yeah. Dude. What is it? I wish I would get updated. He's only a rider, so, he can't really so what next? Where is he? Maybe these guys in the bar? Is it you? Tell a man that there are 400 billion stars in a believer. Tell him that Hello? Kid, is it you? That's the guy. I heard he's an honest cop. <laughs> now that's an oxymoron for you. Which one is it? Hello, sir. What about you? You guys? Hello? You? Goddamn Harry thinks he could get fresh whenever he pleases. What's a special I don't understand. Where's he at? That's one heck of a Sunday. Hello? Would you recommend the special? Hey man, do you know? <laughs> Boy, let's take it some better. Where is he? Dude, I don't know which one it is. Hello? No? I've literally just walked everywhere in here. Oh, maybe it's down. Goddamn Harry thinks he can get fresh whenever he pleases. Down that alley. <laughs> here we go. There he is. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't run, don't. All right, cool. FaceTime. There. Car. Oh, nice. Okay. Did they what not you have? For? Get after it. We might Locked go faster doors? if we weren't carrying the extra weight. <laughs> These are flashy cars to be parked outside a bowling alley. Lanes attract a fast living individual with money to make. Or a middle aged individual with the need to feel virile. Another runner. At least we've got a suspect. Why do they always run? I'm sure we've got the wrong person in more than one of these homicides, but they always seem to lamb it. You know, your theories are not airtight by any means. Don't go to sleep on me. Get me back in close. Hit it! Clean this asshole off the road! I'll try to shoot out his tires. Wish me luck. If this isn't the killer, we can Ooh, baby. Get reckless in danger. That's unless he runs into a wall and saves his own trouble. But he doesn't have a tire. He's still going. That is the end of that. The nice. best fucking time. Get out the car. Show me your hands. These people are complete savages. <laughs> These people are complete savages. Got him. What do you think? Let's go muscle McCaffrey. You got the you address. Drive. I need to go over the case notes. And where exactly are we going? Let's take the new whip. Might as well, right? Two man car. Do -do 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 -do. 
Caffrey's apartment, 7.14 p.m. Oh, wait, we should probably... Well, I think we know which one, but... Check this. Caffrey's six. Caffrey's in apartment six. Okay. Uh, is that on the first floor, actually? Now three. Five and six is down here, and there's six. Knock, knock. Doesn't look like anybody's home. Oh, it's the other side, the other half of the letter. Going from the letter we found inside the body. At the very oh least, I'd say it ties McCaffrey to the scene. Fundamentals of critical thinking, or critical mm. theory. I don't think this is any use to us. Okay. Oh, bloody shirt and oh boy. <laughs> Look at that. He said he was at home. He said he didn't know her. And we have the book. Let's see Carruthers argue his way out of this one. Is that you, Grosvenor? Who are you guys? What are you doing in here? We're from the LAPD, ma'am. Do you know where we might find McCaffrey? I'm his neighbor. Is he in trouble? Look, lady, we need to find him, and in a hurry. Are you going to give me trouble? He has a pigeon coop up on the roof. He spends his mornings up there when he's been drinking. How do we get up there? Down the hall and up the stairs. Nice. Drunk and in command of a carrier pigeon. Hmm. Surely we can ride him up for that. A citation, at least. <laughs> See the cop they've been talking about on the radio? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Holiday? Roof access. Wait a minute. This is similar to the... Grosvenor McCaffrey. Get him. Hangover McCaffrey. Sit Not down and we'll talk. I'll go get our wheel. Not today, boy. I'm getting you. Get back here. Get back here, you. You a runner, McCaffrey? Stay and fight the good fight. Come on. Where is he with the car? And go, 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 go. Give it up, LAPD. Got him, finally. Oh my gosh. Every other time I've tried. <laughs> oh, snap. <laughs> Every other time I've tried uh, tackling somebody. Every time I, I tap it to tackle. They just take off. Get downtown and wrap this thing up. It's gotta be the cap. Are you sure? Unless Terranin set him up. You don't think that asshole Jameson could have done it, do you? Yeah, whoever did it was that Dahlia fuck. How do you know that McCaffrey didn't do the Dahlia? We have a list of over 200 suspects. His name was never on it. Maybe you that's the, the perfect list is suspect. Exhaustive, Rusty. Who am I to argue? Listen, let's just work the case at hand, shall we? Then we can sit down and put all the puzzle pieces together in a later day. I'll hold you to that. All right. Central Police Station, 7 11 p.m. You sure you can make it stick with one of these suspects, gentlemen? It's either McCaffrey or Tiernan, sir. I think Jameson is an aberration. All right. 
I'll deal with that degraded lunatic myself. He's got some fearful retribution coming. Tiernan is in one, McCaffrey is in two. I want a confession from one of them. Don't fail me, young Phelps. One second. What are we waiting for? Okay. Yeah, I'm thinking of moving up to a 45. I want to put him down in one round. Why did you run, Tiernan? I was the last one to see Evelyn that night. I knew you would think it was me. No, don't go! Whoa. We both want the truth here. Uh, what do we got? So, tune in. Okay, gotcha. Can you describe your relationship with Evelyn? I, I barely knew Evelyn. Keep lying to me and I'll have you charged and in front of a grand jury before your feet touch the ground. How can you possibly prove Evelyn and I were more than friends? Ah, uh, shit. Wait, what is it? Victim last seen? Torn letter? Doubt? I don't think I have victim last seen. Tyron. <laughs> is standing around saying nothing, is this some kind of mental torture? Hold up, hold on. Don't worry. I, I'm sure I got something. Thought I'd show signs of that. I think the liquor purchase might be. to believe a man and a woman getting along liking each other just as friends oof <laughs> we didn't have that one wait no, so go. Whoa, whoa hold we up we both hold want up. the truth here yeah 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 we're good we're good uh book found yeah so i didn't have victim last seen aristotle's metaphysics the book that belonged to mccaffrey mccaffrey saw her looking at her once and laughed in her face you're okay, saying see. Evelyn stole it. She wanted something of his. We either hang this on you or McCaffrey. You better give us something. Well, McCaffrey's been in trouble with the law before. I mean, he always makes out it was some kind of labor dispute. But, you know, I'm, I'm not so sure. Okay, alibi. You and Evelyn were drinking together last night. What was that one? And she had no okay. other place to stay. I don't know what happened last night. I, I don't remember. You're lying, Tiernan. You've been fighting with her. You fought and- I'm not lying! She got up and left! That was it! Except for the liquor purchase. She left, but she came back. She bought you a quart of whiskey to make it up to you. She told the liquor store owner. You're in deep trouble, buddy. Do we have she to go back and forth and back and forth for this one? She wanted to care for me. She would never stop talking about McCaffrey. Uh, McCaffrey was a writer, and McCaffrey was a hero. McCaffrey cared for the little guy. Did you kill her, Tiernan? I might as well have. I kicked her out. She had nowhere to go. Do you own a car, Tiernan? No, I don't. Hmm. Have access to a lug wrench? No, we use a lot of them to clear jams in the pin setting machines. The coroner's report says that Evelyn was killed with a wrench. I think you did it and then planted the evidence at McCaffrey's apartment for us to find. We went to his apartment. 
McCaffrey was up on the roof. Evelyn stole the book. <laughs> McCaffrey went crazy when he found out. He said, he said he would put her out of her misery. He can be very cruel. Evelyn was missing a ring from her right hand. That's strange. She always wore it. A uh, big black circular disc with a white E in the middle. It was made from an old typewriter key, a present from the prop department at her old movie studio. We're going to talk to McCaffrey. You need to think about what you've told us, Tiernan. You're not in the clear. All right. Gaffrey, coming for you. I got the jitters again. Number two. We got a stakeout down on second later tonight. You ready to answer some questions? You think I have all the answers? People who run from the police usually have something to hide. Touche, detective. Let's see where this takes us. Relationship with the us victim. You barely knew Evelyn Summers. She hung around sometimes. I had very little to do with her. Uh, yeah, except for the torn letter. You have to do better than that. Yeah, that's right. We forgot about that. You and Evelyn. Evelyn was a lush and a boring one at that. You can't link her to me. Seems there's a serious Wait, gulf between what you think you know and what it you says actually it. do, detective. Alibi for McCaffrey. Ah, shit. Back here. I've not said my piece yet. Wrong one. <laughs> Evelyn died sometime around midnight. The first song doesn't right. show Where up. I was at home writing. I'm working on a manuscript. You're lying, McCaffrey. You were out at the rail yard. And what do you have that proves I was there? This is where the torn letter comes in. How about half of Augusta Summer's last correspondence with her daughter? What are you talking about? After you were done beating Evelyn, you searched her and found her mother's letter. That old lady's anguish amused you. I know nothing about a letter or Evelyn's goddamn mother. So what was it doing on your writing desk? I don't know, but if I didn't put it there, somebody else did. Try exercising your powers of deduction on that. Access to tire. We found the lug wrench that Evelyn was battered with in your apartment, and the note from her mother, and your blood-stained clothing. We have you cold, McCaffrey. You think if I could be bothered to murder Evelyn Summers, I would be stupid enough to leave the evidence in my apartment? Uh, yes. Actually. If it was planted there, then some evil mastermind must be at work here. You got a name, McCaffrey? Shit. Tiernan. Who else? I was under the impression you thought Tiernan incapable of tying his own shoelaces. Fuck. It's either going to be you or Tiernan, Grosvenor. One out of three. And stick detective. The party has good lawyers. All right, well, hopefully we should be able to go back up over to the other guy. Also, there, I can make a call. What's the call for? Operator, give me dispatch. Putting you through now. Cole Phelps, batch 1247. How could I help, detective? I need the jacket on a Grosvenor McCaffrey. Thanks for your help. Okay. Uh, back to this one. I mean, you know you've made it if you got that. All right, listen, dude. I'm gonna need a. Wait, that's all. I'm not saying anything more. Accusations. Criminal record. Okay. I guess we go back over to McCaffrey and uh, ask him about this. So, your military you service. War? Yes, I was. Seeing the things that I saw. 
that changes a man. I came back here determined to change things. All I wanted was a pen and an opportunity to speak out. You told us before that you had only minor run-ins with the police. You didn't mention petty theft. I've never been in trouble for violence. That's the salient point here, isn't it? You're lying, McCaffrey. You have a history of violence towards women. How do you turn a couple parking tickets in a petty theft misdemeanor into an assault charge? Your uh, criminal record and dishonorable discharge. We know all about you and your dishonorable discharge. Beating some poor woman near to death in Syracuse. He's never been in combat, McCaffrey. Your whole life is a fraud. She was a goddamn peasant whore! She tried to steal from my wallet. I could have fought for this country. I could have... You beat her because she stole from you. Because she tried to outsmart you. The ignorant audacity of the bitch. What is a man supposed to do? Sit there and take it? How is a man supposed to call himself a man? And Evelyn Summers, a poor, drunken nobody, stole your book. And she got what was coming to her. Oh, snap. There you go. Governor McCaffrey, I'm charging you with the murder of Evelyn Summers. She was a sad lady who never hurt anyone except herself. I hope God finds a way to forgive you. Congratulations, boys. You bagged the fine catch. Another red to boot. Grant. Now, I want you to put this business about a repeat offender out of your mind. This McCaffrey creature shows no remorse, and neither will the grand jury. You would have to walk a long mile to find a better candidate for an unmarked plot in the prison graveyard. Got him. Another one bites the dust. <sighs> Still managed to miss a few. You can write a tell all tell all memoir from his jail cell on death row. <laughs> we have lost most of Shaughnessy and Dunn's squad. It's gonna is dead, first platoon is in worse shape. That medic is the crazy the bravest man alive. That we rally with the first, the try for the Naboos. It's here to the left. To the right, it goes right through a pass with two Naboos and infillate. Mate, we can I'm lose everyone. The lieutenant. Get back off this fucking bridge! They'll start walking the mortars back to their own positions! We only have I'm minutes! I'm in charge here, Sergeant! Get your men off the bridge, Lieutenant! What's your unit, Sergeant? We don't have time for this, Lieutenant! What's your unit, Sergeant? My company, 22nd Marines, Lieutenant, and we just saved your ass by fording the river. My orders are to reconnoiter the- I think that point is now moot! You have ten men left! My orders are to save what's left! Move out! Yo, yo, what's going on, living legend? How you doing, man? <laughs> 